Here I am in Sacred Valley in the T29. Top tier, which is a lovely thing. I'm you can really muscle stuff when you're on a T29 with top tier, especially on this map, I think. I'm gonna go up the north. But before I start getting into the commentary and everything, I'm gonna tell you a story. Change it up a little bit, use my ray contour skills, or so to speak. In between my high school senior year after I graduated and my freshman year of college, I have a summer job. I got a summer job as a custodian in, in the local school districts and middle school. And the story is about Waldo and Ollie. Waldo was my direct supervisor. He was the head custodian at the middle school. Waldo was an interesting cat. His body kind of looked like a broom. He was real hippie and real skinny. He had really thick glasses. He had a huge hook nose. His ears stuck straight out from his head. And it, he had this gray hair and he was balding with little wisps everywhere. Then the other gentleman, his, his name was Ollie Went. And he was the head of maintenance. Holly, Ollie was a great guy, really great guy. But he was a large man, and his whole body looked like a ball, and his head was round too, so it was like two balls put together. And again, Ollie went and Waldo Darts is the, the uh, names of these guys. And Ollie had a speech impediment. So I'm cleaning the carpet, I'm using the extractor on the library carpet, working away, working away in my own little world, and Ollie walks by. And he's watched me for a second, and he says, Who told you to press that wet button? And I go, Well, Waldo did. And he gets kind of angry. Goes over the intercom, and he says, Waldo Dot, please come to the Y Boy immediately. Waldo to the Y Boy immediately. Uh, I'm thinking, Oh my gosh, I'm going to get in trouble for this. And of course, I got to keep a straight face when he's saying, Waldo Dot, please come to the Y Boy. So Waldo comes bebopping up and he goes, Waldo, did you tell Mike to press this wet button? And I'm going through my eyes, Waldo going to man up, yeah. Well, he did man up. He said, yeah, I told him to press the wet button. That's all you told me to do it. And Wally, Wald, 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 Wally, Ali got really, really mad, really. He goes, Waldo, I told you, I told you not to press that wet button. That wet button could ruin this very expensive piece of equipment and we just can't afford to have it ruined. And, oh, the controversy got all cleaned up. And, but the moral of the story is, never, ever press the red button. Words to live by, everybody. As a side note, Waldo was a much deeper and had more things going on than anybody ever even realized. Waldo was finally demoted in the school system to a night janitor at a local elementary school. Well, a teacher came in one night after that. It was on a Friday night. The teacher forgot something that was late at night. And she goes into a room. Well, apparently Waldo liked to vacuum in the buff. She walked into him, and he was just a vacuum away, buck naked. And that was the end of Waldo in the school system. So, on to the commentary. As you saw, pretty much muscled everything. Uh, the the premium British tank, the FV 201A45, whatever in parentheses, I kind of took a shot and missed him. I probably wouldn't have taken as much damage. I was thinking about going back and helping him at the base but I thought they had enough with the RD and everything else. So I tell people to cap, and then I'm going to try to protect the cap and try to sight for those guys. Wasn't really worried about anything else hit, hit me. Now that's a pretty good player. He has three stripes on that, which is, you know, when you three stripe something, it, it, that's kind of, that's impressive. I, I don't have any three stripes. I got a bunch of, I've got several uh, two marks on uh, T-29 
tanks. In fact, I just two marked my KV4. But again, I'm. I think the. I think I'm close. I, I got. I'm well. I think I'm above 80, 88 percent, 89 percent on a couple tanks. But I just don't play it. Play them enough. And then this poor sod. And as, as I said, I didn't want to. I didn't want to get dumb. Uh, Play kind of conservatively because I didn't want people going to my sides, but he's not going to do anything to me he's in the front. He can't pen me in the front at all. I don't know why he didn't try to move out of there. No, I was worried about getting by, hit by Artie, but he aimed too long and goodbye, Artie. And I just, I just muscled him. It was kind of fun. It was more for the story. Here's the inplates. First inplate, first class. Steel wall, high caliber, 46,000 credits, a little more than that, and almost 4,800 experience. Here's the second end plate, top of the tier on everything, over 1,000 base experience. Here's the last end plate, 12 shots, 10 hits, 10 penetrated, a blocked 890. That's not bad. And made some credits. And I was also using a, a booster, as you can see. Oh, well, I guess it wasn't a booster, dummy me. I guess it was the times three for the day of the weekend. And now, for the very last bit of advice. All right, kiddies. You know, never press the wed.